Okay, let's talk about why so many sellers are diving into digital products. The biggest reason? Passive income. Seriously, it's one of the best things about digital products. I like to think of them as make once, sell forever items. You put in the work up front to create your digital product, and then you can sell it over and over again without remaking it each time. Cool, right? And when it comes to selling digital products, Etsy is a fantastic platform. It's one of the largest online marketplaces, right behind Amazon and eBay. Every day, thousands of buyers head to Etsy specifically looking for digital products, whether it's for personal projects, business use, or gifts. With all that built-in traffic, the potential to succeed is massive. So today, I'm walking you through a complete tutorial. You'll learn everything, from designing your product, to setting it up in the perfect size, creating mock-ups, and listing it on Etsy. Sound good? Let's get into it. Alright, the first step in creating your digital product is designing it, and Canva.com is the perfect platform for this. It's incredibly beginner-friendly, so you don't need to be a professional graphic designer to create something amazing. Once you're logged in, click on Create a Design in the top right corner. You'll be prompted to either choose a template or create a custom size. For this example, Let's use 18 by 24 inches, which is a 3 to 4 ratio. This size works great for posters, wall art, and other printable items. The 3 to 4 ratio is versatile, and customers can easily resize it to fit standard frames. Alternatively, you can experiment with ratios like 2 to 3, 4 to 5, or even square formats, 1 to 1, depending on what's trending in your niche. Many successful sellers offer designs in multiple aspect ratios to appeal to a broader audience. For instance, if you're creating wall art, offering it in 2 to 3, 3 to 4, and 4 to 5 ratios ensures buyers can print it for various frame sizes. Take a moment to research your competitors and note the ratios they provide. Next, decide on the style of your product. Are you making minimalist wall art, bold typography posters, or calming watercolor prints? Browse canvas templates for inspiration, or start with a blank canvas to create something original. Don't rush this step. Try out different fonts, color schemes, and layouts until you're happy with your design. Canva has an extensive library of elements like icons, shapes, and patterns to bring your vision to life. By starting with a design that's simple yet versatile, you're setting yourself up for success. Once your template is finalized, you'll be ready to move to the next step, exporting and preparing it for sale. Let's walk through creating a unique piece of wall art. For this example, we'll design something with a plant theme, it's a trendy option for home decor lovers. Head to Canva's Elements section and type in plants or foliage. You'll find a variety of graphics and illustrations, from vibrant monstera leaves to elegant line art of ferns. Choose one that feels aligned with your theme, like a minimalist drawing of a potted plant or a watercolor-style succulent. After selecting your element, like a serene mountain silhouette or a cluster of delicate wildflowers, resize and position it on the canvas. Keep it balanced. Minimalism often works best. For example, place the mountain image center near the bottom, leaving room for text at the top. If you're using wildflowers, you might arrange them as a subtle border around the design. Navigate to the text section and click add a heading. Write something inspiring or relaxing, such as find your calm or wander wildly. A short phrase with emotional resonance tends to sell well because it connects to the buyer's feelings. Choose fonts that complement the theme. For a modern nature piece, try a combination of a clean, 
sans serif font with a handwritten script font for contrast. Adjust the size so the heading is prominent but doesn't overpower the graphic. Use Canva's suggested color palette based on your graphic to ensure harmony. For a calming vibe, stick to earth tones like sage green, soft beige, and sky blue. Avoid overly bright colors that can clash with the peaceful aesthetic. Use the effects tool to make your text stand out. For example, you can add a subtle shadow effect for depth or use the lift option to give your words a soft glow. If you're working with curved shapes, try wrapping your text around the mountain or along the edges of a circular design. Ensure there's enough breathing room between your text and graphics. Negative space is your friend. It helps the design look polished and professional. Preview it as a framed print in your mind's eye. Would you hang it in your own home? If yes, you're on the right track. With a minimalist yet visually striking layout, you'll have an appealing piece of wall art that's perfect for nature lovers or anyone looking for a calming addition to their space. Let's go deeper into the flexibility your 2 to 3 ratio design offers. Starting with this ratio is a strategic choice because it allows your customers to print the artwork in sizes like 8x12, 12x18, and 16x24 without compromising the design's proportions. This gives buyers multiple framing options, enhancing the value of your product while saving you from creating entirely new designs for each size. Now, if you want to cater to customers looking for other ratios, like 4 to 5, to easily adjust it. If you're using Canva Pro, simply click the Resize button and input the dimensions for a 4 to 5 ratio. 16 by 20 inches is a great starting point. If you don't have Pro, create a new design with those dimensions. Using the largest size ensures that your design remains high quality when scaled down. After resizing, Review the elements of your design. Sometimes text or graphics may shift slightly. For instance, if you have a centered quote and floral graphics, you might need to adjust their alignment to maintain balance. Don't rush this step. Polished designs make all the difference. Once satisfied, download your file. For professional printing, select PDF format and switch to CMYK color settings. CMYK ensures that colors on paper match your digital design. If you're creating files for online use or social media previews, you can use RGB settings. By providing these different ratios, you're offering versatile products that cater to various customer needs. For example, someone may use your design for an 8x10 frame, 4 to 5 ratio for their desk, while another might print it as a larger centerpiece, 16 by 24, for their living room wall. These small adjustments can significantly expand your product's appeal and increase your sales potential. Let's dive into offering your design as a high-resolution 300 dpi JPEG, which is a must for professional quality prints. Why is this important? Many customers prefer JPEG files for their ease of use, and having a high-resolution option ensures they can print crisp, sharp artwork. Plus, most competitors include this format, so offering it keeps you competitive. In Canva, ensure you select PDF print as the format. This setting is optimized for printing and ensures the best possible quality. Make sure to use CMYK color settings if you're working on a professional product, as these are ideal for print purposes. Head over to a free online converter. Upload your PDF file, and choose the option to convert at 300 dpi dots per inch. DPI is key because it directly affects the print clarity. 300 dpi is the industry standard for professional printing. Once converted, download the JPEG file. Open it to double-check the quality. Ensure that the colors and resolution look sharp and vibrant. To make your product more appealing, 
include a folder in your digital download with multiple formats, like PDFs, JPGs, and PNGs for online use. For example, a coffee-themed art print could include a JPEG file for professional printing and a smaller size PNG for social media previews. By offering your designs in a 300 dpi JPEG format, you not only cater to professional printing needs but also establish your shop as high quality and reliable. Buyers love having flexibility, and this simple step ensures they'll be happy with their purchase. Let's talk about making your designs stand out on Etsy with high-quality mock-ups. These are essential because they help buyers visualize how your product will look in a real-world setting. A great mock-up can be the difference between someone scrolling past your listing and clicking Add to Cart. Search for wall art mock-ups, and you'll find plenty of options to fit your style. Once you've chosen a mock-up, upload your design. Adjust the size and placement to fit perfectly within the frame. Placeit makes this super easy with drag-and-drop functionality. Download your finished mock-up in high resolution. Etsy requires thumbnails to be at least 2000 by 2000 pixels, so head over to Canva if resizing is needed. Canva also lets you crop or enhance the mock-up further to make it pop. Use multiple mock-ups to show your art from different perspectives, such as a close-up of the texture and a wide shot of it hanging in a room. If your design is available in multiple sizes or ratios, consider adding text to your mock-up images stating, available in 2 to 3, 4 to 5, and more. By using eye-catching mock-ups, you give potential buyers a clear picture of how your digital art will look in their home making it easier for them to imagine and purchase your product. Protect your design by adding a subtle watermark or text overlay that says digital download to avoid confusion about the nature of your product. This also ensures no one steals your mock-up images. Now that your designs and mock-ups are polished and ready to go, it's time to list them on Etsy and turn your hard work into sales. Here's how to create a listing that catches attention and sets clear expectations for your buyers. Log into your Etsy dashboard and click on Add a Listing. This is where you'll upload your mockups and fill out all the details for your digital product. Your photos are what sell your product, so make them count. Upload your mockups and select the best one as your thumbnail. It's the first image shoppers will see. Use a descriptive title with keywords that potential buyers might search for. Be specific about what the buyer will receive. No physical items will be shipped. Include tips on how to print, frame, or resize the artwork to help your customers feel confident about their purchase. Think about how customers will find your product. Add tags. Tags improve your visibility in Etsy search, so be thorough. Digital downloads typically sell for $3 to $20, depending on their niche and quality. For a simple yet professional design, you might price it at $5.99. Upload all promised files in the listing, such as PDFs and JPGs in various ratios or sizes. Double-check that everything is labeled clearly for ease of use by your buyers. Once everything looks good, Hit Publish, and your product will go live. Promote your listing on social media or with Etsy ads to drive traffic to your shop. By following these steps, you'll not only create a professional-looking listing but also ensure your buyers have a seamless and enjoyable experience. From here, you can repeat the process to create more designs, experiment with different niches, and grow your shop. Digital products are such a great way to build passive income, and once you get the hang of it, it's pretty straightforward. If you're still feeling unsure, don't sweat it. The more you practice, the better you'll get. And remember, your designs don't have to be perfect. Start simple, listen to customer feedback, and improve as you go.